Okay, so bear with me, but let's just imagine for a second that Commissar was a real person. If they were a real person and a friend of mine, I would go up and I would ask them, Commissar, what do you really care about? And almost without a doubt, Commissar would say, I care about two things. I care about transparency and I care about cost optimization. And that would make total sense because up until now, Commissar integrates with a bunch of different cloud providers, shedding light on the resources that we have in those cloud environments across accounts and across cloud providers. But one thing that is for sure is that we're just getting that single level. We're just getting the resources inside the cloud providers, inside those accounts. So now we're taking it one level down and we're going to be talking about the Kubernetes integration. So this is an integration that's going to show us the pods and the services that are running inside the Kubernetes clusters regardless of the cloud provider. It's gonna be really easy to just simply plug in our cube config file uh, along with our cloud provider. Inside Commissar, we're gonna be able to have a list of our resources and we're gonna have a list of our Kubernetes objects. At the moment, just pods and services, but it's a great first step at understanding not only what resources we have provisioned, but what's going on on those resources and what's going on specifically in our Kubernetes clusters. So let's not waste any more time and let's see how we can easily integrate Commissar with our Kubernetes clusters. Let's do it. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I would do is head over to the Commissar documentation. Over here in Docs Cloud Providers, you're gonna see the Kubernetes page. You're gonna have all the instructions here, but really the only thing that we're gonna to need to do is locate our cube config file. So your cube config file is going to more than likely be under um, .cube. So let me just go over and get it. Okay, so I'm in my .cube file and I can see that the config file for my particular clusters is here. And what I would then do is just print out the working directory and that's what you're going to need to pass into your config file. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back over to the Commissar local directory where I have my Commissar configuration file. This is the configuration file where we are going to add the path to our local cube config. So this is pretty much the only snippet that we're going to need to add to the configuration file to be able to integrate our Kubernetes clusters. You're just gonna pass in Kate's here, add the name to your cluster. And then as you can see, this is the path that I printed out uh, before. And of course you're gonna pass in the file for your config. And that's pretty much it. In my local directory, I also have the credentials file here because I'm going to need it to authenticate to my AWS account, which I'm also passing in in the configuration file. But once we have this, we can pass in Commissar. Start. And head over to localhost 3000. And as you can see here in the Commissar resource inventory page, we've retrieved some of our Kubernetes objects and some of our AWS resources. Let's just give this refresh we're fetching more in the background. And right here, you're gonna be able to filter using the cloud provider. You're going to be able to filter specifically between your Kubernetes resources and uh, everything else. You can create a custom view here for your Kate's resources to have easy access to them up here. And from here on in, however you want to visualize, however you want to organize your resources is really up to you. And it really is as easy as that. So uh, one thing to note is that at the moment with this first release of the Kubernetes integration, we will need a specific uh, config file for each Kubernetes cluster. In the future, shortly we'll ship a patch that will allow you to have all of your clusters in one config file and inside the Commissar configuration file, you'll be able to then choose the different names of the different clusters that you're going to want to uh, integrate to. So you won't need to have a different config file for each Kubernetes cluster. Also in future releases, we're going to add more Kubernetes object to the Commissar dashboard. So you'll see more than just pods and services. And we're also going to fetch more information from those objects. We'll see what's the state of the pods, if persistent volumes are bound or unbound and, and things like that. Hopefully you're a part of the Discord server so you can join us for the journey and to see how this uh, particular integration evolves and how we can get more and more useful information and transparency into not only our cloud providers and our cloud accounts, but our individual Kubernetes clusters. That's it for me today. Thanks a million. Peace.